In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom financial results table in SharePad. Looking at the financials view in SharePad here on the right, you can see there are a number of tabs. I'm in the summary tab at the moment. By now, you're probably familiar with the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow and ratios tabs as well. On these tabs, there's a lot of information and particularly in full screen mode, this may be a little overwhelming. And that's why in SharePad we enable you to create your own custom tables, including just the items of information you're interested in. These might be the financial characteristics which are key to your investment strategy. And you can create multiple tables for different purposes. To create a custom financial table, go to the Custom tab in the Financials view. The first time you use this tab, it will be blank as you can see here. You can see that this is a template called New Setting. I've already created a custom table and I can select this by clicking on the Settings menu and selecting my table. It's called Key Data. Before we go any further, it's worth reminding you that in all of SharePad's views, the settings relate to different templates that you can display on the screen, either ones we've provided as, as defaults or ones that you create your own. So each setting is a different table. If you create multiple tables, you'll use different settings. Here you can see that I've created different sections in my table with relevant criteria in each of them. I've got a section for headline results one for quality characteristics, safety and value. Let's create a brand new table. First of all, click on the setting menu again. Now we could go back to the default template new setting and edit that, but instead we're going to click on the create new button. And let's give the setting a name. I'm going to call this strategy. To start adding items and sections to our table, we click on the Design button, either here in the middle of the screen or down here on the toolbar. As we saw earlier, we can add multiple sections to a table or you can just add one section. To create your first section, click here where it says Click to Create New Section. You'll be asked to enter a name for this. Let's just call this Strategy as well. Now to add items to your table you click on the green plus button here. In this dialog here there are a number of options which we'll come to in a moment and there's a big blue select button in the top right corner. Click on this and you'll see you get the dialog you get when you're adding a new column to a table or a criterion to a filter. So choose an item. I'm going to choose PE click on OK uh, and then you can add a custom name if you like so if you if you're adding an item which has got a rather long name maybe some of the least adjusted options in SharePad for example you can put a shorter name and if you want to make your table uh, as narrow as possible you can indent items and there are a number of different indentation levels which you can select by dragging the slider here you can Add, you can display items in bold, you can show them as a, a negative value uh, and you can include row separators to, to subdivide the items in a section. Now if you've got a lot of items to add um, it's best to click on the add button in between each one because it, it'll add them to the table but it'll keep the, the dialog open. So for example I click on the add button here we can see that it's added PE. I'm going to choose another item uh, let's choose uh, Cape, for example, add that. And when you've finished adding items, you click on the OK button. Now you may decide when you've created your table that you want to reorganize the order of the items in the table. So you can double click on any of the items and the um, same dialog will pop up as before. But this time you've got the addition of the move up and move down buttons. So you can use those to just reorganize the items in your table. Now you can keep adding items 
uh, in the same way if you want to add a new section click here to start a new section and then add items the same way and once you've finished click on the design button again to get out of the edit mode and once we've done that you can see that the custom tables share the same features as the fixed financial tables on the other tabs you can scroll through the data history using the previous and next buttons and you can display quarterly values trailing 12 months and forecasts using the buttons down here on the toolbar now you can also drag items onto the micro charts on the right hand side here if you want to get a, a more visual guide to trends and uh, data ranges now you might also like to add your new setting to the settings toolbar down along the bottom here and if you want to do that click on the settings menu and click on add this setting to toolbar and there we can see it down here right now this just makes it easier for you to select different tables particularly if you've got uh, a lot of them going back to the settings menu you can see there are also options here for copying a setting if you don't want to start from scratch or deleting a setting you can also restore settings to defaults if you want to wipe all your custom tables and start again that's it if you want more help creating custom tables please call our friendly support team anytime between 9am and 6pm weekdays or you can send them an email out of hours